something I was kind of remembering there in the break, especially with these two teams matching up. So I mentioned uh, Puppet Master didn't do so well in that uh, in that grand finals last time they met, but I believe Vindicator was actually a uh, pretty big presence, if I'm not mistaken, in that grand finals as well. And I'm kind of one. I'm kind of curious, even. I know Xebe also has some history playing the Vindicator. On top of it, so well, I kind of wonder if that's that may make an appearance here or not. Maybe that was a different series, actually. I'm thinking about now, but anyways, uh, point being, maybe, maybe not. That'd be kind of an oddball. You guys back though? You still muted? I'm here. You're good. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. I'm here as well. Cool. Let's do this. Let's do it indeed. Uh, one other, uh, so another stat that Quincy actually brought up, I found very interesting actually, was. Uh, Pull it up right here. So BMG has a slightly higher win rate in games over 30 minutes than Sync, but Sync prefers to win early, as he puts it, because in 20 games they have a 90% win percentage uh, before 30 minutes, but then over 30 minutes they only have a 55% win percentage in 29 games. So that's actually very interesting, kind of uh, seeing that kind of comparison. Out, they you know obviously prefer to get games finished sooner than later. If it happens to drag on, then you know almost ha almost 50-50 in the end. So with them going at it. So, anyways, so, stats is always fun, but uh, into the game we are. Kraken, Kronos, Chipper, Rhapsody. Chipper. Chipper kind of thrown in there. A by, good uh, hero, man. Yeah. I know. Just the problem that, um, the problem with Chipper is it's such a strong solo that they can't run the suicide against it. And Sync isn't, com I don't know if they're, I mean, they can try lane, and they've shown that they've done it before, but I just don't think they feel comfortable enough. And then if you, like, dual lane a chipper, it's, like, not really effective because you can still last two with rockets, and then try laning it is even less effective, even if you kill them. So it's just, like, awkward, and they just want to deal with it. But instead, Swiftblade gets in the pool, which is just, in my opinion, even more annoying to deal with because it's such a silly hero. Yeah. So I'm not going to see it here. Yeah, it's obviously banned off the bat, but as far as picks go, uh, Magnus and Empath, Drunken Master into Bubbles, and then Engineer there into Swiftblade. So we are going to see that Empath Swiftblade combination coming out once again. This time by BMG though. Uh, both these teams very familiar with it to say the least. That combo. So yeah, BMG getting on their side. However, um, I am looking at Sing Slant up, and yeah, I see the Engineer especially. You know, Magnus. I wonder if Flux is maybe being thought about here from them, but. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But yeah, the draft so far. Narcy, what about you? What do you think about the draft here going on? I think the, the number one factor in this draft right now is the fact that, if you notice, BMG got the Swift Blade this time, but this time around, Sync have the counter. They have that Drunken Master. Yeah. So Sync are more prepared to deal with the Swift Blade this time. So it, we'll, we'll have to see how well BMG run that Swift Blade, if they can do it as well as Sync. But the difference is that they don't have... The huge weapon and drunken master that Sync have right now. They didn't have that last game, mm -hmm. so we'll have to see. They they have you know they have what it takes to deal with the swift blade. So I think that's going to be major in this game. Yeah, It'll be a big difference maker for sure. So torturer war beast Glacius and Slither again. We were talking about war beast last game. He was actually banned initially by uh, by BMG, and they banned him in the second tier bans. But again, Kazu has been playing a bit of war beast recently once again. And as he did before, doing very well with it. So, not going to give him that hero comfort factor there. In the end, I'm kinda, again, I'm kind of wondering though. Uh, very support heavy so far. There's the gauntlet ban coming out by Sync as as well. Possibly still be an option here. Will it be banned out or not? But maybe not looking at their heroes. But yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know who would play it. Because they already have like those two strong heroes, you know. Yeah. But they've been the Hag instead, which I think is the right call. Hag is really good against Swiftblade because Swiftblade can't really stay on top of him by himself. He needs more. So I'm gonna go into this pick here. 48 seconds of extra time amongst the normal time, of course, that they have to choose. So still a fair amount of time for either side at this point. But yeah, all the bands finished up and. Obviously, just picks to go on either side. So, you got the Empath Swift Blade. Uh, again, it seems like it's usually ran a, in that tri lane more so than not. So, I'm kind of curious what that second support option is going to be Ophelia. over here. Ooh, Ophelia coming out, actually, for Sync. 
Hanskin's been the one running it lately, Snipe. but yeah. You think about that. Take is that more of a takeaway you think in the end than for themselves or? I don't know. Uh, so I'm definitely comfortable playing Ophelia. It's probably the one hero. It's probably the one jungler he still likes to play in the old patch. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. It's it's a little bit of both in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Just because they have the bubbles, so that's already a solo. So they don't have like too much to just like. I don't know, they don't have many curveballs on BMG. Like, they're pretty set in what they're going to be doing. Like, they could offensively try lane with Swift Blade, or they could solo it. Either way, it's still Swift Blade with other people. Yeah. And the bubbles solo, which is most likely going to be mid, because bubbles as a suicide is really, really weak. Just because he can't really last it, and he's, he plays a passive role, unless he wins, which isn't very often. <laughs> Difficult to do, indeed. So... Yeah, they're going to put some good thought into this one. Again, they can't use new heroes, so no no elephant going to be seen here. This is on the previous patch, guys. Patch uh, 3.4.8, I believe, is a specific. But anyways, not 3.5, so mm -hmm. all those changes haven't happened yet. They down patch to finish off the event, of course, once again. So Nymphora going to be coming out. So that's kind of their dual support setup here for uh, for BMG, the Nymphora pickup on their side. and. What do you think about that? I mean, again, Torture Glacius were banned out as far as other support options, so maybe those would be usually more the go-to, but you think Nymphora could also fit well in this maybe tri-lane setup here? Uh, I think not so. Really. I think so. Uh, right. I, th I think in terms of the AoE stun, well, not AoE, but non-targeted stun um, against the Drunken Master in a way, but... Uh, Did you have a different opinion, or...? Yeah. Better than I the Riftwalker. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I could see it better than the Riftwalker, and there aren't many options left. Um, and there's Madman, which hmm. isn't too far out of bounds, but that means that they have the carry Drunken, which is fine. And so Drunken will do just fine against whatever they send at him. And then they have the Mag, NG, Dual Lane, Middle, and Suicide Madman. So... They're going to do well in every lane from their draft. Yeah. Like, just, just looking at it, they're going to do fine in every lane, if not win most of their lanes. Yeah. So I think Nymph is fine in the sense that if they pick up something aggressive here, like if they go something like Pebbles here, that would be really good. Hmm. Pebbles or, I don't know, something that can roam damp here even. So they need to pick something that can be aggressive. You want them to stay away from going aggressive trialing, then, is what you're saying? Because, I mean... I don't think a tri lane will do anything, no matter where they go. Like either yeah. they're gonna tri lane a solo drunken master, or they're gonna yeah. tri lane a madman, or they're gonna try to tri lane middle, which is just nonsense. Yeah. So, so yeah, like there I said, pebbles, and then they have the pebbles and amphora, and then you can just have a long lane swift blade or a solo solo swift blade, and suicide bubbles. Either way, like you still are contesting, if not winning, a lane in this setup, yeah. rather than tri laning. All right, so, yeah, you called it, Dickley. The Pebbles coming yes. out here, and again, that's – let's see the lanes develop from there for sure, but game number two underway. Again, sync up one game to nothing, looking to pull a big 2 nothing series lead here in a best of the five. It's obviously a big deal, but uh, in the end, BMG at the same time, of course, trying to even it up themselves. So we'll have a classic pause to start things off here and make it officially competitive and then eventually uh, jump into it, so – yeah, while we're in this pause here, I mean, again, guys, uh, we like, I've kind of been hyped about it. Obviously, I'm, I'm really excited for these grand finals and excited that they're here and we're casting them now. But at the same time, I'm also really excited for 3.5 and especially going into Haunter Season 3. Um, can't wait to see, you know, different stuff. I mean, there's a lot of different ideas being thrown out there and, you know, what people think, who's going to be great, which heroes are going to be great, or whether or not we're going to see some of the new items. I mean, what what, what are your guys' overall I'd say? Dig we'll start with you. Like, the, the patch as a whole, were you – pretty satisfied with it and think it's going to provide some change and whatnot? I mean, I could just sum it up into hashtag no sun gaming, and I'm <laughs> not even kidding when I tell you that probably everyone is going to be going for no stun. I think really? it's a huge change, and it makes the biggest difference because you can get it before mid-game, especially on carries. And I think it's so cheap that people can just get it. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, you could just get it. I mean, there's other changes like Cleaver and stuff like that that are going to be cool to see. And the weird version of Smoke. It's going to be cool to see it in play, and I'm sure people are going to use it. 
Um, but I'm more so excited for the new heroes. Some heroes, not so much, like Cthulhu Font, not all excited for that. I think some changes didn't really make that big of a difference, like Kronos. In my opinion, they they nerfed all of they only nerfed the ability that was fine was his ulti, uh, when his bash was more of the problem and his time leap and his rewind not really working properly. Okay. But regardless, I'm just saying it's going to be a lot of null stuns, and in my opinion, it's going to be going more so to the carry meta where it's going to slow down and people are going to be farming a lot more. What about Thunderclaw and Charged Hammer? I mean, you think those are going to be? I love them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know it's if my you favorite remember, item. <laughs> but I've always been an advocate of Charge Shammer, and I also like uh, No Fire Blade. Those are my two really fun items that I think. So I think the Charge is great. I think pe people are going to try it. It's not going to be the best because everyone goes shrunken it anyway, okay. but it'll be fun to see. Yeah. That no Stone, though. Yeah, it's a... We'll yeah. see. That's it's a, that's it's a No thing. Stone Gaming. No I'm Stone Gaming. You. All right. I saw uh, something on... I think it was the Reddit... But uh, someone had a suggestion to add, like, just a hundred gold recipe cost to Nullstone so you can't break it later in the game and build a sheep stick. Because that's what people have been doing. They get that super early Nullstone, mm -hmm. and then they break it into a sheep stick late game and, like, demolish. Hmm. And uh, that, that was really interesting. I saw this this morning, I think. But, okay. uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm mainly excited about the Charged Hammer. I mean, the Nullstone is going to bring back, uh, th yeah, the carry meta, which is... Awesome, in my opinion. I mean, I I miss seeing, you know, Carrie's farm and these crazy, like, you know, late games. I'm and trying to understand if you're being sarcastic or not. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm okay. completely serious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the carries are, I mean, the, the whole pup train meta we've had, sort of. Okay. You know, it's it's starting it's it's starting to it's become starting to a little old. bit boring. You know? it's <laughs> yeah, true. it's starting to get old. If but, I'm you know, we want to, you know, It's a little bland seeing Drunken Master in every game, you know? Like Drunken Master, Kronos being banned every game. It's nice to see things being shaken up a bit. And yeah. heroes Hashtag like Silhouette that are like insane. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like that hero is insane. It really. played really, really well. So the plus so, 100 range was. Yeah. Really put over I mean, even without the range, even without the range, that hero was insane. It still is. Like you can't. It's so hard to keep up with that hero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it needs a lot of farm, and that's why it's good in the farm meta and the nerf to null, null stone or buff to null stone. <clears throat> makes it really good. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's just giving... The patch seems to give light to new opportunities and new strategies, which are good in my opinion. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You know, it's... I think that's the ultimate thing. It's like change. Change is always a good... You know, we, yeah. every meta we go through, you know, it does... It, it gets a little stale. You know, we did at the end of Season 2... You know, with all the Keeper of the Forest, all the jungle and everything, Keeper of the Forest Tempest, and obviously that's changed after that, and we, now we've been kind of in that state, so constantly having changes is a good thing, and, you know, excited for that going to, obviously, again, a brand new season of Haunt Tour, so that's around the corner, but enough about that. We got game number two here of still what is, again, the previous patch uh, to finish off the Carnage Cut of our Pro League. Uh, with that said, all right, what have we got going on here? Looks like uh, Sync. They're going to be going aggressive, actually. Magma's already headed to the top lane with Engineer. Ophelia is up here as well, planning to go to the Hellborn jungle, it looks like. So, what do you guys think of this decision? Sync kind of, uh, oh, what a snipe on the courier right there by Jonas a fan. The oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it was a ground courier in the middle lane. Had a word of sight on it, actually. So, they were kind of moving it around to eventually place, but Jonas a fan saw it, and he snipes it out. That's, I mean, that's a... Pretty big deal. <laughs> I'm not having a courier early on. Oh my god, we actually had some action here to start things off. Nymphor gets caught into the jungle, gets the seal sent off onto Ophelia, but the damage is already done. The Catman champion gains success, but Ophelia is going to end up falling. Nice wall off from Hanskin as well. Holy crap. Now the Catman champion is there though, and yes, it will finish him off. So doing work after death is Ophelia right there, and now they're going for Pebbles actually. This Kex, and if that hits, it does hit, but not enough follow up. Magnus, he kind of wants to go in, but he doesn't have the mana. For our lava surge, what are what is going on here? Game number two, it's already two to one hero kills with a courier killed. On top of that, holy crap! How that was that was pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, how big is that courier kill though? We'll start with that. I mean, honestly, it's not that big because they killed that, so he was already in the well. He could just buy another one. Yeah, and I mean, if. Um, Jonas got the ward, which is still there. He can still pick it up. True. But I don't, I don't think he's gonna go for it. Ooh, an edgy. 
Yeah, he's going to be caught out here. Now, this also leads into the discussion. Now, what, what is Sync doing with this lane setup? I mean, they obviously have the hero code advantage to start things up, but they are diving. They want this kill. And this is going to pay off. It looks like maybe, oh, my God, actually, the engineer already getting picked off. Magmus gets a steam bath off, though. He's going to be fine for the time being. Pebbles finally able to see him again. But Mickey doing a great job of tricking right here. Unless the Zealstone hits, it's, oh, a nice dodge at the last second. Magmus doesn't have enough mana for Lava Surge. Nim4 wants this kill. He's going to risk his life to do it. He gets the kill, but at what cost here? Pebbles trying to take the tower. Maybe Pebbles needs to be careful himself. Okay, wow. That, that health, health potion. Coming up. Barely. That health spot. <laughs> um, this start, ridiculous. Go ahead. What's going on, guys? Uh, well, in the end, Mickey got a bottle, so I would say all of that was worth it. And now he rotates to mid lane, and Kazer has a bottle as well. Huh. So, I, I mean, the rotation is good because now they can't really kill Madman, and which is this is what they should have done from the beginning. Yeah. But I guess this was just enough to stop um, Pebbles from just getting complete undivided for farm, and to just get, give him a little bit of pressure because now Madman has the level ahead of him. Like Madman's four and Pebbles is two. Yeah. Ooh. Jonas, man and up. Oh my gosh, Jonas, man, he does this quite often. Will it pay him off? Yeah, he gets counter killed, so that's where it's debatable. Was it worth it in the end? I mean, you gave a kill to a Magmus to kill a support yourself. You could argue probably not in that case, so. But uh, <laughs> the aggressive play wouldn't be Jonas, man, without that, of course, at the same time, so. At least he manages to get it, but yeah, it does fall in the process. But again, four to three hero kills. As you said, though, they already got the bottles on both Mab and Magus. Yeah, making that adjustment. So yeah, the initial setup, maybe a little questionable, but hey, it actually kind of worked out, and then they made the adjustment uh, to do just fine here in the end. As I say that, Madman gets caught off guard a little bit, and Mike caught off guard. He's going in. He has a double damage rune actually still up. That's doing a lot of work right here. A couple more auto attacks. It wears off at the last second and makes a fall. <laughs> he tries to deny him. Those Pebbles right there, if anything, but it's not successful. And now Pebbles might be in some trouble. Barrel is going to be coming in one second. He gets a kill. Keizu with a double tap. I'm sorry, guys. I want to let you guys talk, but this is just crazy. Four minutes in, we have nine uh, kills. Yeah. I mean, hey, Sink and DMG are going hard. You know what's at the line, or what's on the line, so. Yeah. Narcy, you haven't talked in a while. What, what, what's going on in this game? <laughs> what are you noticing? I mean, Mad I, I just, I completely agree with the Madman pickup. Madman is just such a strong hero. He can, very vers uh, versatile. <laughs> yeah. He can go through, like, the he can go to the mid lane, as we saw. And then, like, that rotation was just really, 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 really well played by Sync. Mm -hmm. And now that they're going to, I don't know how they're going to deal with the Madman. Like, now, but I don't know what Pebbles is doing here. <laughs> he I don't know can't either. kill the <laughs> Madman. He's wasting farm. And yeah. Madman can just press Q and get from almost the Hellborn Tower to the Legion Tower in like, what, four seconds? Mm -hmm. The movement speed is insane, and even right now, Empath, like, they can't kill him. Well, they're gonna try, ugh, Stalagmas just out of range. So yeah, they're using a lot of resources and time, and it's just not happening. Kaze is way too slippery, and it's not gonna like work out. So, well, bottom line in the meantime, how about that? Zimmy dives Flensmeister, and he gets the kill by himself. So at least yeah, that works. Yeah, he tried to kill him before and ulted, and he lived with like 5 HP, and then he just went on him again and spun, and he died. <laughs> and that's how it works. And then Mickey misses a stun in the middle lane. Yes! Trying to go for bubbles right there, play aggressive. Ooh, yeah, he's going to dodge the shell, sir. Probably wouldn't have gone in, but just in case right there. So it continues here as far as game number two is concerned, as far as the action specifically. Um, but yeah, I mean, so you look at what's going on here, kind of break it down a little bit further. Pebbles at the top lane, you know, this is this is a lane set up by BMG to have Pebbles a good time. Not having a great time so far. I mean, it's 0-1 and 3, but it's only 13 creep kills here at this top lane. So <laughs> you would, you'd hope for their sake that that maybe picks up a little bit here. I mean, you, you can't really rotate. You can't make an adjustment, I wouldn't think, at this point. Because, again, it's, it's, it's set up to be favorite for him. But obviously that's where the play is coming to well play by the Legion side in terms of getting hero kills and Keizu, especially on Madman, doing some work. So, But uh, I don't know. Anything else for you guys that, that you notice here like going on in this game? Like, what's going good for BMG, would you say? Right now, uh, the, the, I mean, the Swiftblade's gonna have to make some plays if they're gonna do anything. And 
I feel like they have all their eggs in one basket right now with the Swift Blade, since their short lane is really, really struggling. And it's going to continue to struggle, especially once that Madman gains back some mana. That, just a super annoying suicide to deal with. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. trying to help the... Yeah, Drunken Master is really hard to kill, yeah. so... Yeah. Be fine. Like they're I putting said, now even more know. resources into the Swift Blade, and... Yeah, and I feel like they have to, but they, they, yeah. they, uh, they're still not doing anything, but they still have to, like, it's, it's all they have right now. Yeah. So get him the farm and hope uh, that Xibi is able to move around, kind of like we saw last game with Mickey, of course, playing the Swift yeah, Blade. Yeah, it for worked for Sync, sync so yeah. we'll have to see. It definitely worked for them, to say the least. So again, that was that was kind of a tricore makeup, though. This, this lineup not nearly on that level as far as uh, the overall lineup that they had. So again, it's, you know, apples and oranges is really in the end as far as comparisons. So many other things going on, but still, that is one of those kind of comparisons to look at. But um, now, you know, with that said, you know, Bubbles and Pebbles. Pebbles is starting to get a little bit better here as a game goes. Again, it is limp after all, playing it up here, and we'd only expect that from him. So um, he's about 260 gold per minute now, moving on up. But so is Drunken Master with that said. At about 310, and of course, Magnus leading the way overall to 360 gold from minute. They want to dive this Drunken Master. Speaking of him, he pops the untouchable. The Kalefield, obviously, the stun comes out. A lot of TPs coming in for Sync. He holds his ground, finally dies, but will they be able to get a response right here? Magnus kind of gets blocked. Madman's going in, though. He wants to chase somebody down. That somebody's going to be Empath, it looks like, who has the essence link up. But yeah, he's just waiting for the kill. And Keizu picks it up. So a one for one exchange right there. A lot of resources were used by Sync, though. And they only got the support uh, Empath, so. I think if you're if you're if you're BMG, you're actually pretty happy with that overall. Yeah, definitely. Oh, for sure. Because Swift Blade also got Pebbles. the kill, so. Yeah. yeah. And now they just bought more time for Pebbles, and with that, they're gonna get top tower, which is pretty important. Mm -hmm. So. See Pebbles, and yeah. you know, and speaking of Pebbles, actually stalagmite. Ooh, a little bit early right there. As Drunken Master doesn't take a stun from it as a result, they're going to try to deny the tower. It's going to go down. It's just will be denied or not. Look at Pebbles. He gets chucked in right there. Actually, not chucked, but lunged in, I should say. He's going to do the chucking himself, though, as they're going back in on a Drunken Master, though. They got the tower kill, by the way. Limp did, actually, throughout all this. Madman, however, comes in. The Elphilia's touch. He gets chucked, actually. does bubbles, but Madman gets the pick on Nephora. And now the lunge in. Oh, but the Salagmites at the same second right there. And it actually stuns him in mid-animation. Pebbles still trying to escape. Bubbles, he goes in for the ninja right there, gets the well kill. Played. But Pebbles gets picked out. So, yeah, great plays all over the place, but it doesn't have one-for-one one exchange at the end there. Uh, Casey gets a double tap, however. So action does continue here in game number two. Uh, by the way, Hanskin also got picked off by Mickey here while that was all happening in the middle lane. So, well... Seems like BMG starting to pick up some momentum. Sync kind of stops. Like, granted, they did get the tower kill. So I don't know. It's <laughs> they, they 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 do have some positives still going with that. So they got the Nymph four pebbles. I will say that much. That 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 is the thing, and that is scary. So. Oh yeah, the problem is they can't really do much with it. I mean, yeah, they can. They just had a really <laughs> slow start. Ruin hand skin. Ooh. Maybe we'll live. Maybe. It's nice. He's gone. Maybe. Blood, stagger. Anything untouchable. Gone. There we go. But it's going to cause him a lot of damage in return. A lot more than he expected. Oh and he boy. gets taken out. Swift Blade gets a kill. And that's all because the tower damage actually happened as well. But now Swift Blade in trouble. Here comes Bubbles. Big Kefo coming out. Swift Blade. He holds his ground. Ophelia goes down. Engineer. He doesn't have much left. Ophelia's minions are here to assist at least. But Swift Blade will easily survive. And now Magnus, though, he, he's going to join the party. He has Bubbles Blade Frenzy. Invis, yep, though. There's a Blade Frenzy, dead. yeah. Beautiful time. And the creeps are dead. Magnus, he wants to get something, though. As in the meantime, Bubbles picks off Engineer. But at what cost here? He does not have Shell Surf. He's going to get killed in return. Hell, 21 hero kills in 11 minutes is where we're going to be at. I almost, This is going to be one of those games that's hard to almost analyze because it's just so chaotic. <laughs> People are just doing things left and right. But Well, then. So now a little bit of breathing room once again right here. So where, where, where are we at? I mean, Energizer just picked up by Swift Blade. So you, you were talking about Diglett. I mean, Portal Key Pebbles, once he gets that, which he's on his way, they got Nymphora. Is it maybe not as scary as your usual game you're saying? or? I mean, just because of how slow the start is, yeah. Like, right now, Pebbles would have his PK. Like, he would have it right now. Mm -hmm. And Nymphora is almost six. She's Even five, a little bit before, five. and he's the short yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, so 
like, now he'll have it with something else, like, I don't know, power supply, whatever. So, he should have it now. And now is, like, a good time before they get items, because Drunken Stark can be getting armor, and Kay's already picked up an Energizer, so he's 1200 life. Yeah. And Magamos has a PK. So, it's getting to a point where it's almost going to be too late. Where the second he needs to get his portal key, they need to do something. Mm -hmm. Like, the second, the very second he gets his portal key, they gotta kill people. <laughs> because it's really starting to where they just need to make room. Yeah, the Magma Speaker is also way more scary than the Pebble Speaker. Yeah. Uh, especially, you know, it doesn't it doesn't deter as or, or go down in value as much as the Pebble Speaker over time. Yeah, and we'll have to see. Well, let's see right there. Empath actually a pretty good wall onto Ophelia to keep herself alive. But in the meantime, Ophelia goes middle lane. And that'll be a tower kill, assisting with the team, of course. Bottom line, in the meantime, Magmus, he's in a little bit of trouble. He throws out the steam bath, though. Swift Blood has the Swift Slashes, but can't do much just yet. And obviously, yeah, we'll just have to fall back in the end. So good push from Sink, and do enough defense there, at least Magmus does, to hold off a counter push in the process. Speaking of Pebbles, he has enough for the portal key now. Level 6 and 4. Look at where they're going. They're going for the side shop. So something tells me they're going to look to use it ASAP. And, yep, they're going middle lane. They're going to look to jump this madman. And I don't think Keizu has a clue, understandably so. No, he's just out of range. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, he's going to be fine. And I don't, I don't know if they've actually seen Pebbles yet. They probably did, though. And yeah, they probably noticed now that he has the portal key. So that, that's big news. He is going to port to the bottom lane. So they want to put up some defense here. But Sink Esports pushing pretty damn strong. Pebbles is ready to go, though. With his combo, who will he jump is a question. Maybe the engineer. No, he goes for Magmus, actually. There's the Ophelia's touch coming out. Now Pebbles in a lot of trouble. In comes a lunge from Trucker Master. Beautiful line stun from Magmus. Sets him on two. Pebbles goes down. The Swift Slashes, but so many creeps. And Minions nearby. Magmus comes out with a counter eruption. Empath barely alive. No, he finally dies in the end. This Kizu gets a kill. As Kizu trying to fend off his teammate right there. Magmus falls, though. But now Swift played in response. Yeah, the lunge happens. He's going to be DPS down and falling Xibe to the grave right there. and Nymphora is able to pour it out in time, but man, oh man. I mean, that Pebbles are the target choice in general. I don't know about that. They, they tried to eliminate the, the, you know, the Magmus threat, but we saw, like, the PK Magmus at this point of the game is just way more effective than the PK Pebbles, and Pebbles really can't do much right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a uh, Angie. Yeah, he's dead. No Kel failed, so he, he might be a... No, uh, he's... Is he? Yeah, yeah, they're going. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I think a TP's in here. This... Up in three seconds. Oh, man, no it's TP's, a TP. So... Uh, goodbye. It. Yeah, okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Let's see any of dead. So there's hope. But, uh, no, but yeah, so uh, what, what do you think, Diglett? I mean, about all that right there. I mean, that was still a really good team fight for Sync, and... They, they were ready. Like, they knew. The second that Pebbles jumped in, NG ult and Ophelia ult went off instantly. Like, yeah. they were ready. They knew. So, and now it's just, like, they're just going to play it safe. They're not going to, they're just going to avoid this pebbles nymph wombo combo. Mm -hmm. And as long as they don't get a ton of pickoffs, like, it'll be fine. That's a lot easier said than done, though, isn't it? I mean... Because yeah. that combo itself, it just makes you play so defensively and so scared almost, but... Yeah. But see, look at NG. Court. Like, they're yeah. going to maybe kill NG, and then, like, that's it. Like, they're not going to get much. They can't really kill Drunken. They can't really kill... They definitely can't kill Madman. Magmus, maybe. But... Yeah. Like, they just ported mid and didn't really like, like, they're just not in a position to utilize this combo. Because they were so far behind in the beginning. Madman here, he's 400 gold per minute. He's actually just going straight into the shrunk. And once again, I really, I really like this hero. Just, I, I, I honestly love seeing him back because he, he had been off the scene for a long time, but he's obviously more of a definitely a very effective suicide nowadays. And it's great seeing him because his skill set really allows him to build just straight shrunken head and yet be very, very powerful. Kind of like a drunken master in that sense, actually, just because of how mobile he can be and how much constant damage. And of course, his gash on top of his berserk, that alone just allows us right click even to be very, very powerful. So in the meantime, in the middle lane, though, speaking of Madman, he gets comboed right here. The Ophelia's touch comes out, barely keeps him alive. Engineer got ported back, but he still ties anyways. Madman gets picked off. Ophelia barely will survive. And she gets the astrolabe off at the last second. 
Well, that was interesting time because, yeah, Engineer was being ported back. He dived in mid-port, it looked like. So that was unfortunate, but uh, that was a big jump right there. But, again, that's that Pebbles threat for you coming into play right there. So it is uh, it is possible. It's if they get those picks, and there is definitely a good chance for BMG. And so that, that's obviously great news for them right there, uh, picking that up. So Bubbles Portal yeah. Key, I'm sure, will be big too. I was going to mention that although the Wombo combo of the Pebbles Nymphora is going to wind down a little bit, they still have the Bubbles that can go in with them and uh, provide the extra damage So, and the extra lockdown. So with, with Bubbles there, it isn't too bad. And we just saw it right there. Bubbles is just insane follow-up, and two heroes just completely drop. So BMG might still have some initiation power here. I mean, although it's lay, it's, you know, with the bubbles there, I don't think it's going to be completely useless or completely a lost cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got you got a couple of shrunken heads here with that said. Drunken Master and Mammon, as I was talking about earlier, uh, coming out for the Legion side. So I think it's safe to say, you know, at least get those items. But, you know, so once once they get those shrunkens, is that the, is that the go-to here for Sync to re really kind of, you know, Put it down and maybe maybe force some fights. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's when you want to go. Like, you you don't just push. But you're like, oh, it's, you know, it's 18 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's go get mid tower. You know, like you get you go when you get a couple shrunken heads, or you get a big item pickup. So once shrunken has it, Pebbles isn't going to do anything. And Swift Blade can't ulti him. So shrunken's going to be a pretty big problem once he does get that shrunken head. Mm -hmm. So he just needs to get it off in time. And then Medvin having it is just the same thing. Like. He's just going to right-click people and just do tons of damage, as you said, so... Yeah. I feel BMG need to be forcing the issue a lot more right now. Big time. Oh, They tried right there at the top lane, but... Keizu just uh, gets a stagger off in time. And actually uh, prevents the combo from being affected from Pebbles right there. Empath in the meantime, he's in a lot of trouble, but the wall off at the last second. Bubbles with that kill field too. Give me the place, and here we go. Pebbles in the return now. Magma stuns out at the last second, though. They did get Empath in the end, but now Pebbles, he's actually in a bad spot. Swift Slash is bouncing around. Energy field is down, though. Pebbles dropping. He gets the lag myself off at the last second. Here comes Ophelia, though, with her creeps. Yo, oh, not up the Magma stun at the last second Dude. to finish off Pebbles right there. Zeal Sun hits multiple heroes, though. And a big response from the Hellborn team. Exhibit is able to do a lot of damage right here throughout this fight, as well as uh, Jonas a fan, actually. So even despite the Pebbles kill, the, the big picture, I think BMG comes out on top there. Yeah, they're, they're slowly coming back into this game because Zippy is just not dying. Hmm. And it's the same issue that BMG had last game. <laughs> yeah. like, if you just ignore the Swift Blade, like, he just goes under the radar. You're like, oh, it's a Swift Blade. Like, it's fine. But then he just spins and then ults and kills your whole team. And then you're like, well, how do we deal with this? Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's so. kind of <laughs> running into the same problem. Sing just yeah. really need their shrunken heads. Like, really yeah. need their shrunken heads. That bubble of scale field was just perfect. And it's going to keep happening over and over and over again. They don't have any magic immunity, so. Jonas fan 9, 2, and 4 right here. So, most certainly a big impact. And actually, Swift played... Okay, just uh, the one ancient right there, I was going to say. I thought they might have been stacked ancients, but never mind. Just going to pick up a little bit of farm right there. He does have 2,500 gold now himself, so you know, we'll see how he progresses here with this build. You know, by now you'd probably expect to see the Firebrand as the usual at this point, but uh, he's got the Energizer with the Abyssal Skull and has 2,500 gold, so maybe going a different route. Magma stuns in on a Swift Blade. Almost kind of biting a little bit on the bait right there, but in the end, not a big response coming out either from the Hellborn team. So, uh, but yeah, those Shrunken Hats, kind of the counter on that. Another 1,000 gold for Drunken needed, just over 1,000 gold for Keizu needed still. Playing the Madman here. Other than that, Magmus, I mean, they're gonna, gonna be getting the tablet follow up here with the portal key, but, you know, looking to have his, continue to have his impact and necessary in these fights. But yeah, I mean, talk about slowly climbing back. It's, hell, according to stats, this is even, I mean, gold is, practically identical and so is experience for that matter both under a thousand and especially now 21 minutes into this game that's when you know it's a pretty even game overall uh, but looking at the GPM charts I would almost say uh, BMG you could argue that they are ahead just how it looks I mean the supporting cast is obviously the one that's just a little bit further behind but uh, Swift Blade, Bubbles and Pebbles are all doing pretty damn well as far as their farm here is concerned so I think uh, over here Sync have the Drunken Master's farm slowed down 
big time, and that's just going to be an issue for Sync. Like, they really need that Drunken Master to get some items, especially that Shrunken Head, and to even some, some damaging items and armor items. So, I don't know. He only has pretty much those Ghost Marchers right now and nothing else, really. And yeah. it's hurting them a lot, like, big time. So... I think I think BMG just did a really good job of holding him down. They killed him quite a few times. Oh man, Engineer, he was in a casting animation of his ultimate to try to go for a turn. Now they are gonna get the turn on M4. Here comes Bubbles up with the cover once again. The M4 will fall, but will he be able to do more with this? You see Madman stalking around. Ophelia now joining the party. Astrolabe is used as well as Ophelia's touch going off. So but yeah, as he said earlier, he said right there, the Kelfoot beautiful yet again coming out from Tonus of Fan, but actually Empath is maybe going to pick you off to the side. That Essence Lake does so much heal, man. He's going to survive. He jumps into Pebbles right there. But now this might come at a cost. However, supporting guys trying to get there. But now Pebbles falls. Empath is picked off. So uh, that is your case. So that get A for effort to try to save your teammate and everything. But he does end up getting Pebbles killed too. So that's where it was a little awkward. And Sync capitalizes there in the end. So big kill. On their part, and that, that means the Shrunken Heads now finally should actually be coming out here for both Madman and Drunken Master. And like you guys were talking about, Diggly, you're bringing that up. I mean, that's definitely a key moment here in game number two. So, <laughs> big exchange coming out there between the two. What yeah. did Swift Blade buy, by the way? Did he get here? He went for. Nothing on I don't yet. He has a shroud, but he has it on the ground, so the other team doesn't oh. see it. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Assassin Chow, what do you guys think? See that? Every time he I goes to the farm, he just drops it on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, so they don't know. That's I mean, that's really smart. That's really oh, smart. Really but, smart, yeah. I, I mean, I don't think it'll do all that much. I mean, it, it's good, but I would I would have loved to see Firebrand. Just more damage. Like, that's all that he needs to do is just pure damage. Yeah. Well, right. I'm going the Assassin Chow. Gonna, yeah, gonna try what? to ninja indeed. I mean, there is a word of sight, though, from, but. Probably didn't see them go in there. No, it definitely yeah, didn't. He shrouded, he shrouded, he shrouded, he shrouded in there. Okay. Yeah. He shrouded in there. Smart huh. play, but it's severe. I think it's just going to be a free Kong, unless they have, like, the really good presence of mind where, you know, no one's on the map. Yeah. They're probably at the monkey. Well, Mickey is in that area. He actually picks up the region. Oh, he's going to notice this now because, yeah, he's going to be gone on, actually. Kelfield comes out, he stuns away. I don't even know if they still notice, but in, in the end, here comes Swiftlet actually with the assassin trying to feel his touch comes out. Magma's still in an awkward spot, but now Empath actually gets chucked in. Now he's in a bad spot. Kex on the swift slash is now bouncing. Beautiful bounces between the two. Magnus and Ophelia end up falling. Engineer having to run away. Energy field obviously already being used. His supporting cast. Chill's trying to get here. Both Drunken and Madman not here initially. And that's a big reason why BMG may be coming out on top of that fight, but it is not over just yet. Madman wants to make something happen still. He's able to stalk away from the uh, stalagmites right there. And here comes Drunken Master. Yep, he gets the lunch stun. Pebbles also netted by the Skeleton King. And Pebbles most likely going to fall. Magnus, by the way, he bought back. Thus, he's able to help clean up in the end. So, <laughs> as a lot of these fights have been, man, thus the 22 to 21 hero kill score. Just a lot. It seems like one team may be coming out on top, but then the other team, they fight back and at least ended well for them. But yeah, Madman and Dragon not being there initially, obviously the huge deal for Sync Esports. Yeah. Yeah, Something just really unfortunate knowing. happened, by the way. Yeah. Go on, yeah. I no, no, no. I was just going to say that um, Ophelia had a really good presence of mind, so Zlat playing the Ophelia. He had that dust on him, and he had his Skeleton Kings ready for when the Swift Blade comes on. But when he dusted, the Swift Blade was like slightly out of range uh, while he was coming up Invis, so... He may have been able to catch the Swift Blade with the Skeleton Kings hmm. and, you know, give time for the Magmas to stun away. And, like, that was just really unfortunate. Yeah. That would have been major, major game changer right there. Huh. Yeah. Trying to go yeah, for that's a freak Kong. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is that they should have known with that team fight that they were trying to Kong. Like, there's no reason for their whole team to be down there. Because yeah. Sync went on that, and they were willing to fight. That's true. They, they, were, they didn't realize how many people were actually there. Like, they just thought it was a couple people. Mm -hmm. But it was their whole team, because they were just waiting for Kong. But Yeah, and I kind of wonder, you know, what the reaction was like when they saw that message pop. I was like, wait a second. Oh, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> that, uh, that's yeah. what they were doing. Because yeah, they clearly had no clue. I mean, there's no reason for them to not try to at least fight that, at least distract them, because 
they could have easily done so. But yeah, not having it to conclude, and thus Conger gets killed. So that, that's definitely to the credit of Xibi right there, specifically on the Swift Blade. Uh, doing a good job with that Assassin Shot, as we talked about, kind of ninjaing in there in the first place. And ultimately helping to get that Congor kill. So he has that token now. It's already down to four minutes. Obviously only five minutes in total at this point uh, with the token of life. But I'm sure going to try to that firebrand. So. Yep. Got that here. Oh, here we go. Nymphora TPing both Bubbles and Pebbles. Where are they going? They're going middle lane. They put a lane ward down, and this Drunken Master is walking right into a trap. Oh, never mind. He turns. <laughs> Okay, there's more support there's here, Mad though. Mad there Mad we go. They're going to drop Mammon. That's a better target. They get the kill. Swift Slash is also coming out. Dragon Master put a big Magnus Eruption coming in. Dragon Master's holding his ground. He gets a quick pick on an M4 right there. Swift Blade, he has a token. He's dropping. So he will resurrect right here, but he very likely will fall. Gets a big crit off right before. He does go down, though. Pebbles in the meantime. There's Golden Pebbles. He runs away. Swift Blade comes back up. Full life, full mana, though. That's what it does. Gets a kill to Engineer. Madman trying to stock away. M4 does end up getting picked off in the end. And now we see Bubbles actually. Take cover coming out. He's going to try to delay the inevitable right here. Maybe. Oh, no. He will survive. Drunken Master forced to fall back now because Swift Blade is too damn strong. And Bubbles, in fact, going back in. Yes, they will take out Drunken as Mammon has to stalk around. Again, no shirking head, obviously, at this point. Has to play it safe when it's all said and done. So <laughs> that initiation right there from BMG. And again, works out for them in the end. Were there any buybacks? No, not. Or did Mammon buy back there? No, that must have been earlier. Yeah, he did. Did he? he okay. Did, he, did. he did buy back. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he did. Well, they uh, they did use the Nymphora factor again. She's level 11 now, so taking two people with her. Picking up some big kills. So it seems like BMG is actually in a pretty good hold of game number two now, especially compared to earlier. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's going to happen every time. Out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's rinse and repeat right there. Nymphora taking some damage, but yeah, going to be fine. They get the tower kill. And they want to chase after Ophelia, and they very likely still may. No, they'll just kill the minions and be happy with that. And obviously, that, that's a big deal because Ophelia has to spend more time now going back in and getting ideal minions in response. So, but uh, yeah, you're about to say, I mean, the more picks they get, obviously, the more snowball it's going to get for them as the mid game picks up here. Yeah. And now, Jordan has. Oh, I gotta say, I'm really impressed. <laughs> yeah. BMG are making it work, so this was this was really tough for them mm -hmm. to actually like come back like this, and they they have done it very very well. But yeah, this madman though is gonna have some issues. I I feel like they're just gonna go for that madman every time, and he's just gonna like he really can't do anything. Yeah. Once they go in on him with the bubbles, uh, bubbles, they're just he's just gonna explode. So we'll have to see how Sync have to deal with that next time. I was going to say, what do you think Swiftly may be going for next? He bought something, though. It's on the Courier. It's going to be a, just a straight-up Geometer's Bane, actually. Not going the Frostburn route. Just uh, instead using that Firebrand for the full Geo's Bane. That makes sense to you guys with some lockdown here and ways to get out. Eh, I like it just for NG ult and just to get out of everything. Mm-hmm. It's it's just a nice escape. Like you just pop Geos and then spin and then shroud and nobody can nothing can happen. Yeah. So it's especially good against dust and if you have your illusions kill the NGO, it's pretty big. So I, I think it's fine. There's plenty of items he could have gone. But the one thing that I about items is that I think the Legion team specifically slapped needs a Vlad's or a pistol skull. Like he with Madman and Drunken Master, like the benefits of that item are insane. Like, the item itself is already really strong, and then you have two melee heroes that do a ton of auto attack damage. True. Like, that item needs to be, like, someone needs to get that item soon. Yeah. Oh, Swift Blade, he's trying to bait out right here. He uses both of his illusions. Wow. He just made it out. Wow. He's or got a lot. Yep. Yeah, he got Shrunken Head on Madman and the Angel. That was big. Yeah, Sync cannot be too happy with that, and that's... They're yeah, going to have to surrender gonna this tower. Now? Yeah, that's easily yeah. a tower kill. We'll see about the base, though. Oh, that turns out. I wouldn't be surprised if BMG's in a case, though, maybe waiting for the next Congor before really starting to push it in. But at the same time, maybe they can. <laughs> Especially knowing that the Shrunken Head's still going to be down. I and mean, that Shrunken Head's still on cooldown for 40 seconds on Madman. You were saying now it's, it's already difficult for him, even with the Shrunken Head. 
Let alone without him, but yeah, no, they're not going to risk it. They will port back, play them more the safe game, of course. In fact, does that, those are illusions, right? Yeah. Okay. Illusions. Yeah, just taking out the illusions there in the meantime, so. Uh, Swiftblade just going to clear up the Legion jungle, though, as well. So BM or Sync's farming resources right here constantly being taken away from them as the game progresses on, and even more so how... That comeback chance for Futon. And actually, oh, here we go. Pebbles porting back in right here with the Amphora. No, it's just bubbles, actually. But they didn't even need him <laughs> in the end. I, maybe so. The Cuffo comes out, but still. Xebi doing most of the work right there with the uh, Swift Slashes. So, I don't know. I, if, if you're BMG, could, would you feel comfortable even trying to push into the base without the token or just wait for Conger, you think? Yeah. No, you definitely go here. You pick off, they picked off Madman, plus they got Ophelia ult, which is pretty big. Okay. Like, Sink can't really fight this. Yeah. Like, they're struggling is enough in defense. Yeah. It's, it's going to be the saving grace for all that burst damage from the pebbles and the bubbles. So with that down, yeah. they can just go in and take someone out instantly. Mm -hmm. Other than the madman who's already down. So. Here we go. Into the base as expected. Going to start knocking on the door here. Again, madman's down for another 20 seconds about. Before he's going to be able to come back up and... Help us team, but as you also mentioned, uh, Ophelia's touch use. Drunken Master even using Untouchable right there. No, that's a very short cooldown, but... All right, BMG, though, again, just playing the very safe game. They kind of distract a little bit, see what's up, and going to fall back and wait for Congor. So, um, yeah, it's a case of, sure, they could have gone in, but it's... Why risk it in their mind? Is that, Bubbles is that with the Hell Flower, by the way, that's going to be huge. I feel like huh. the main the main targets are going to be probably like the Drunken Master and the Ophelia. Ophelia if they get off a, um, a Hell Flower on the Ophelia and take her out, that's going to be massive for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of heals. That's true, yeah. Not, not, not going to Sync. That could definitely hurt, so Sync Esports. Oh, Swift Fleet, actually. He's kind of running in here with Empath, has that Assassin Shroud. They dust him, though. This could be big if they can get a catch. But no, they, they, they can't. I mean, they don't have – okay, they do have a PK on it, Magnus, but choose not to right there. And Pebbles ports in with him four as well. The whole team is here all of a sudden. Trucker Master untouchable. He does dodge a slog. Was initially uh, Magnus stunts back in on a Pebbles. But look at the Swift Slashes bouncing around once again. Pebbles is able to hold his ground. It's just a cluster right here. The energy field is down. Swift Plate's still alive, barely. They do end up taking out both Drunken Master and Madman. A hat trick. Quad kill coming out for Xebe. Does he get the Annihilation? He doesn't, but GG well played could be called. And game two officially going to Bad Monkey Gaming. Thus, we have a tied best of five series at one game apiece. So, yeah, that was, uh, you know, if they maybe jumped to Swift Plate immediately and got him burst down, that could have been something, but. Obviously, BMG by that point especially was just too far. So, uh, auto ban Swift Blade, they say. <laughs> Xebe's <laughs> the one that says that. <laughs> He's like, just auto ban this hero, man. We don't want to. We don't want to deal with it. No, but uh, final thoughts on that game, Diglett. Uh, shout out to Swift Blade. I mean, it's really the hero that's just like, I don't know, with this early game meta, it's just one of those heroes that doesn't need anything at all. Like Ghost Marchers and the hero can kill like half of a team. Like, it's just insane. Yeah. So, you know, Swift played one of those heroes that's really shining. And so, I don't know. I, I would honestly, ex I would expect to see it banned next game just because people don't want to deal with this because it's been on the winning team both times and it's mm -hmm. done really well.